In this video, we'll explain what ITGCs are, share examples of how they work, and review the compliance frameworks that serve as their foundation. If you learn something, please be sure to give us a like and subscribe to our channel. Information Technology General Controls, or ITGCs, dictate how technology is used in an organization. ITGCs help prevent breaches, data theft, and other operational disruptions. ITGCs influence everything from user account creation to password management to application development. They prescribe how new software is set up, who the admins are, how the system is tested and implemented, and when security and software updates should take place. One important thing to note is that information technology general controls are not the same as application controls. ITGCs govern the use of all systems within a company. Application controls restrict what users can do within one particular platform. ITGC can take on many forms, but most fall under a few distinct categories, so let's review each in detail. The first is General IT Administration. Most ITGCs fall under the General IT umbrella. General IT controls may refer to how IT systems are managed, who oversees those systems, where the IT roadmap is going, how and when to conduct risk assessments, and what best practices IT projects should follow. Access controls are another form ITGCs can take. ITGCs should include various methods of preventing unauthorized access and data manipulation. Coupling robust password management with a least privilege access policy can instantly lower the chances of a cyber attack. Full disk encryption is also a common access-related ITGC because it completely locks devices, even while at rest. Next, we have system lifecycle controls, used to manage application, system, or network releases and updates. When users don't regularly update their programs, they do themselves a disservice and put their companies at risk of an attack. That's why many ITGCs focus on forcing regular updates and consistent monitoring of an organization's applications, systems, and network service level commitments. Many companies also implement patch management tools to automatically deploy patches to the operating systems, browsers, and applications that are behind schedule. Physical and environmental security controls keep a company's data safe from cyber attacks. When we think of hackers, we often think of a person behind a computer but that's not always the case. So it's important to define and consistently test physical security controls, like key badge entry to sensitive areas and intrusion detection systems. The last category of ITGC is related to data protection and recovery. Accidents, natural disasters, or cyber attacks can happen anytime, and without backup or recovery plans in place, companies can lose significant data. Most companies enact ITGCs to minimize data loss through database segregation, automated backups, and business continuity plans. Now let's talk about ITGC compliance frameworks. To guarantee the highest level of compliance, companies lean on three overarching security frameworks to inform their ITGCs. The first is COSO. The Committee of Sponsoring Organizations, or COSO, framework integrates controls into everyday business processes that validate ethical and transparent operations. COSO has five requirements. One, control environments to uphold industry standard practices and reduce organizations' legal exposure. Two, control activities to make sure tasks are carried out in a way that minimizes risk and accomplishes business objectives. Three, information and communications that help stakeholders understand and comply with legal requirements such as privacy regulations. Four, monitoring by internal or external auditors to ensure employees are following existing controls. And five, risk assessment and management to identify and mitigate as many risks as possible. The second framework is COBIT. The IT Governance Institute established the Control Objectives for Information Technology, or COBIT, framework to outline recommended ITGC objectives and approaches. The five key COBIT principles are, one, meeting stakeholder needs, two, covering the enterprise end-to-end, -end, three, applying a single integrated framework, four, enabling a holistic approach, and five, separating governance from management. The third framework is ISO. ISO 27001 is a framework related to information security and change management. 
ISO 27001 uses a top-down approach with six steps to attain compliance. One, define a security policy. Two, define the scope of the information security management system. Three, conduct a risk assessment. Four, manage identified risks. Five, select control objectives and controls to be implemented. And six, prepare a statement of applicability. Without ITGCs, companies struggle with compliance, operational, and security issues. Enacting ITGCs keeps everyone on track, but developing and sustaining them is easier said than done. Fortunately, JumpCloud's capabilities make IT control management a breeze. Working from a trust nothing, verify everything principle, JumpCloud's zero trust security model allows IT teams to oversee user access to applications, files, networks, devices, and more all from one cloud directory platform.